see this? That's eight bags, and I would say about five or six of them are heavy. See this? That's where they all have to go. So if you're ever wondering, what is Kay's motivation for getting her Etsy shop up and running and thriving? It's so that she no longer has to do this. so I made it it was rough though I'm here to tell y'all as you can hear probably in my voice I'm still trying to breathe I took two trips to get up those stairs with all of those packages and uh, yeah second time up got to the door and started coughing almost vomited I was so I stopped delivering out here in Irvine because of situations like this one right here where uh, I end up with eight bags that I have to carry up three extremely steep flights of stairs. And this building <clears throat> was the second one in this route of nine stops that um i had to do that so and i'm living off of three and a half hours of sleep right now because i was up really late last night finishing an order so i will say this just as a little inspirational type of thing to say to all of my embroidery friends out there all my etsy friends out there and all of you other hustle queens who are out there <clears throat> the hustle is worth it work your asses off do what you gotta do to get to where you're trying to go my sole purpose is to no longer have to do this I no longer want to be beholden to Amazon who could give two about any of us who are out here doing stuff like this you know trying not to get bit by dogs getting bit by dogs being attacked by dogs um being attacked by customers <laughs> oh the stories i could tell you from my adventures uh working this whole flex driver thing for the past almost four years um I do it for the kid and for the dog because it has been for the past almost four years the main source of income while I've been trying to rebuild the conservatory and uh, build up baby kisses. But building businesses takes time. So I have suffered through and sacrificed and there have been some really, really great times and there have been some enormously awful times uh, and I'm burnt out and I'm so over it. However, it is what I have so I keep pushing through because I know someday, come hell or hot water, this will no longer be my situation so keep pushing people there are going to be times when it's going to be <clears throat> rough and you're going to want to quit because you're tired and you just can't take it any longer but just hang on to the faith that the lord's got it and keep your eye on the prize remember what it is you are pushing for no one should have to be in a position of being afraid to take time off, not being with their families, um, wasting enormous amounts of time in a day 
waiting for crumbs to be handed over to you by a company who has shh, more money than Oprah, more money than God, um, and don't treat their their employees, independent contractors, whatever you want to call us, um, fair and just. Um, I'm a single mom, don't have much of a choice, have to take care of my kid, don't want to be homeless again, living in my car. Uh, so uh, I push through, but uh, I keep my eye on where I'm trying to get to. And I walk in the faith that I'm going to get there this year, <laughs> this year, a heck of a lot faster um, than I did the first time I started all of this. So stay encouraged. Know that you're not alone. Uh, we all have our struggles out here. We're all doing the best that we can. Um, and at the end of the day, this too shall pass. There will come a day when you'll look back and be like, oh, hell, I remember when. Just like I can sit back now and go, oh, hell, I remember when we were sleeping in our car and now we're not. So keep pushing people. You can get there. You can get there. You will be on top just as I will be on top just as I'm watching uh, some of you out there <laughs> riding fast. It's fun. Um, take the bad days and kick them to the curb because your good days are coming. All right, I've got two more stops. And then I finally get to go home where I can work on listings and finish watching a movie I was watching, make dinner for Harmony, and, oh, I don't know, maybe get some sleep for a change <laughs> so that I can get up and do this mess all again tomorrow. So stay encouraged, keep pushing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace.